We are pleased to present you the EDEC IAF Commercial Property Friends Index. So let's start with the issue of measuring commercial real estate performance. The index construction in commercial real estate is a complex exercise and I will explain you why. There is a lot of heterogeneity between the assets themselves. We are talking about buildings with very different idiosyncratic features. Secondly, there is the lack of central marketplace transaction. Usually, the approach is twofold. The first approach is the use of appraised based indices, but they are key issues. Actually, they are creating smoothing and lagging effects. And they have low frequency and low timeliness. The second approach is the use of transaction based indices. They are also controversial because they have low trading volumes and the lack of trading volumes make hedonic or repeated sales reg regression not apparent. The property market is not as liquid as the equity markets, of course. So what is the solution? We propose to create an index based on transaction of large and diversified and listed fund shares. Our sample is made of unlisted vehicles called SCPI. So what does SCPI stand for? Actually, they are unlisted vehicles with a very specific objectives. The objectives of this unlisted fund is to provide sustainable rental income stream over a long-term horizon. As of today, the market is made of nearly 90 funds with a property market value cap of 45 billion euro. These unlisted funds are either closed-ended for one-third or open-ended for two-thirds. They are based on monthly transaction and they are close to half a million shareholders. These unlisted funds are tax transparent and they are no or limited financial leverage. And finally, these are considered as alternative investment funds according to the AIFMD directive. What are the key index principles? The index is based on transaction value of the most highly traded SCPI which invest in commercial property. The index is market cap weighted, of course. The universe is rebalanced twice a year depending on rolling traded volume. The index is based on monthly frequency. It has been calculated since June 2008. It is released 10 days after month end, which make a dissemination more quickly. Finally, the index has been computed backward since 1980 on a semi-annual frequency. There are two indices, price and total returns. And finally, our institution, our EIF, act as an index administrator, which is backed by a scientific committee chaired by the EDEC Risk Institute. So I will leave now the floor to Pierre, who will present to you the index characteristic. Thank you, Beatrice. So what are the main index characteristics? First of all, the funds are overwhelmingly invested in France. Foreign exposure accounts for only 5% of total exposure, mainly in Europe. Secondly, these funds are heavily diversified. In fact, the uh, index consists of 40 funds, representing close to 40 billion euro property value in France. It accounts for 15% of the total invested property market and represent 4,000 individual buildings. The index composition rules based on transaction values is robust. In fact, during the 1990 real estate crisis, there have been no disruption in the composition of the index. Another issue is to capture the right volatility of the property market. Slow trading uh, process eliminates excess real-time stock exchange volatilities. 
The market is organized through a monthly matching of all the books within a price bracket around the fund's net asset values. Considering funds with limited financial leverage eliminate also spurious interest rate induced volatility. Funds loan to value ratios range between 0 to 15%, which is pretty low. The breakdown of uh, the uh, index by segments at the end of 2016 is very close to the total invested commercial property market itself. There are other property indices. Euronext IEIF SIC index is an index of listed French REITs, real time. This index suffers from overrepresentation of retail property and prime asset and has a large uh, property exposure outside France. Also, a disadvantage is a high financial leverage, loan to value of 40%. Another index, the CBRE Paris Central Business District Prime Office. This index is a quarterly index, of course, with a tiny sample. This sample is a market niche, highly transacted. This niche has a lower capitalization rate than the rest of the market and consequently higher price volatility. Another index is the MSCI Office France Index. This index is a semi-annual, appraised based and consists mainly of grade A buildings. This index suffer from smoothing and lagging effects. What about the total return of these different indices? This chart represents a total return performance index of these indices from June 2008 to the end of 2016. Of all indices, the EDEC IEIF Commercial Property Index behaves nearest to MSCI Office France, both in terms of correlation, but also in terms of tracking error. I will now leave the word to Beatrice for conclusion regarding the use of the index. Thank you, Pierre. So, having set up the scene, what are the possible use of our index? Firstly, our index could be a good proxy of MSCI Office France Index. It's based on a monthly frequency versus a semi-annually for the MSCI Office France Index. Therefore, our index can quickly disseminate market information. Secondly, our index can be used as a financial benchmark in regulation, either for PRIPS or Solvency II. Thirdly, our index can be used in global asset allocation modeling. And finally, our index can be used as a performance benchmark for SCPI fund managers. Thank you for your attention and see you soon. <laughs>